Heeding the here text from the bourbon bandit himself, Brett, is an integral part of the minivan movie club process. And don't worry, he's not an anthropomorphic blue healer. He's something much worse. Imagine a hybrid between Jonesy the cat and a xenomorph. Yeah, it's like that. Tonight our directive is Fide Alvarez's Alien Romulus. Fide's got a history with horror, having sliced his way into our nightmares with 2013's Evil Dead and left us holding our breath with Don't Breathe. So I'm boarding this ship with high hopes he can inject some genuine terror into the alien universe. Taking place between the Nostromo's doomed mission in Alien 1979 and the bug hunt of Aliens 1986, Romulus drops us into a gritty blue collar world. Following a group of disgruntled 20-somethings trying to escape their mining planet for a better life. Their big plan? Raid an abandoned Wayland yutani ship for supplies. I mean, when has that ever gone wrong? All right, time for some spoiler talk, so if you haven't seen the movie yet and you don't want spoilers, click away. Fide Alvarez set out to take the Alien franchise back to the horror roots, back to when Xenomorphs were more than just cannon fodder for space marines. And you know what? He pulled it off. The film's atmosphere is dark and brooding, with a color palette that's pure nightmare fuel. Alvarez taps into his horror background to deliver some pulse-pounding, jump scares, and edge-of-your-seat moments. And let me tell you, if you've got a premium setup, the audio mix will have you looking over your shoulder like you're about to meet a face hugger in real life. This earns Romulus a full minivan for directorial vision. Now let's talk about set design and practical effects, because Romulus shines like a beacon in the dark. The first two acts are a masterclass in using practical effects to immerse us in the terror. But then there's the final act. When that hits, the CGI also hits rock bottom. The scene where Rain's dangling from the spacecraft battling the humanoid would have had me hooked if it didn't feel like I was watching someone play Alien Isolation on an old Xbox 360 console. And don't get me started on the human-like xenomorphs. I've always thought that the closer they get to human, the more they lose their sheer primal terror. The drop in the quality of CGI really pulls you out in the final act. This drops it down to a half a minivan for the maximization of their budget. When it comes to performances, a couple really stand out. David Johnson is the MVP here for his portrayal of the synthetic human Andy, delivering a performance that would make even Bishop proud. His range from vulnerable to strong has you questioning your ethics like, what's the line between man and machine? And then there's Isabella Merced, who gives out a scream so chilling during Navarro's chestburst scene that I almost expected Ripley to show up with a flamethrower. On the flip side, Kaylee Spaney. Well, let's just say after seeing her twice in lead roles, she has yet to impress me. This earns Romulus a half a minivan for memorable performances and acting. Memorable moments. Oh, this movie has them. From the brutal acid blood death scene that had me squirming in my seat like I was watching Kane's first encounter to what is easily the most grotesque birth scene since Prometheus. This film has shock value in spades. But the dialogue, let's just say, you won't be quoting this one like Hudson's Game Over Man. There's nothing here that's going to stick around in the cultural zeitgeist. Half a minivan for memorable moments and favorite quotes. It's way too early to judge if Romulus will be remembered fondly or tossed into the same bin as Alien Resurrection. The crew I watched it with all had a good time, but we couldn't shake the feeling that a lot of our enjoyment came from the theater experience, the booming sound, the immersive visuals. We wondered if a home viewing could capture the same magic or if it would feel like a lackluster bug hunt. So for timelessness and rewatchability, Romulus gets a half a minivan. In the end, Alien Romulus earns three out of five minivans. If you're a fan of the horror genre or the Alien franchise, it's worth checking out in theaters. This is a step in the right direction for the franchise. If you've seen Romulus, what did you think of it? Share your thoughts in the comments before the Xenos get us. See you next time.